Hey everyone, it is Melissa again from Generation Studio and Shop. Welcome back for part two of the four drawer dresser makeover with the Real Milk Paint um, that I'm going to be using. Uh, yesterday in the video, I said that I would have this cleaned. Well, guess what? It's not cleaned yet. The top is totally done. We did that yesterday with um, denatured alcohol and steel wool and um, I have it sort of covered now but maybe you can move in and just take a little peek at let me disassemble my fortress here <laughs> and you can just go over top of it and see what it looks like now this is I it, it came out beautiful for the veneer that it is um, so you can go back there if you don't mind um, without <laughs> without tripping um, it's so nice to have a cameraman, by the way. I don't, I won't have this every day, so I take advantage of it when I can. So the top is done, and it turned out beautifully. It's a piece of veneer, so like I said yesterday, I try to salvage that when I can. Um, it just needs a couple little fixes. Um, the back left hand or right hand corner, however you're facing it, back here, um, the veneer is just lifting up just a tad bit. So what I'm going to do is take some wood glue and clamp, glue it down and clamp it. It, it literally is only this piece that's like this small a piece that's coming up. So instead of ripping all of it off and replacing it or anything like that, I like to keep the original when I can. So we are going to be restaining this. I'm not quite sure of the stain color at this point, but we will be restaining it. Um, like I said, when you have a business that's open, you sort of get um, interruptions sometimes, which is a great thing. You want interruptions as much as you can, but that's why I didn't get any further because I had some other projects going on as well. So I did not get this scrubbed um, entirely yet. I have scrubbed this side, and if, what I'm using to scrub is Crud Cutter Pre-Paint Cleaner. It's a TSP substitute. It is called a, it says it's no rinse, but if you guys know anything about me, if you've been following our page at all, I rinse everything. Um, even when it says not to rinse, I still rinse. And, and this is why um, I did this side already, and you don't have to get in real close or anything, because I did this just with one squirt over and scrub with a green and yellow scrubby, like a Scotch-Brite pad. Um, and if you look in here, this is what I got off one, one side. It's disgusting. Um, the piece is going to turn out beautiful, beautiful, but this is why when people come into our shop and ask about, like we carry Fusion Mineral Paint, we also carry the Real Milk Paint um, brand paint, and like I said, that's what I'm gonna be doing this piece in, um, but people always come in and ask about prep. Well. Your piece is only as good as the prep you do on it. So can you imagine picking up this piece, okay? This was in someone's home. So it wasn't out in the garage or, or a barn or anything like that where we do find some of the best pieces ever. But it was in someone's home. They were using it. It had shelf liners in it or drawer liners. Um, it was well taken care of. It was a family, family heirloom and so I'm sure they cleaned it, but when you go into the deep cleaning, um, I wouldn't want to paint over that dirt. I, th that's one of the main things that we talk about prep so much, I, and I know it sounds so wonderful um, with some paint lines that say, no prep, no prep, no prep. I'm old school, I prep. That means cleaning it, it means scuff sanding it, and then wiping it down again. Um, so I clean. I cleaned this side and because of how dirty that water is, I'm going to be cleaning, spraying it again just to give it another before I sand it. You don't want to sand ahead of time because you're just digging that dirt deeper into that wood and you don't want to do that, okay? So okay, that's my rant on prep. Um, because when people come in, and I'm sorry for going on that rant, but when people come in and say, do I have to prep with this? You don't have to do a whole lot, but you do need to prep. I mean. Like I said, prep is only as good as what your finish is going to be. And you, if you're taking the time and the money to redo a piece, revive a piece, refurbish a piece, you, you're gonna want it to last um, for a very, very long time. It's not that we're just slapping paint on these pieces and putting them out the door you know, with a price tag on them. We put a lot of work into these pieces and we want you to be able to enjoy it for as long as you want and until you pass it down to your next generation. See what I did there, generations. Um, so, so anyway, as I was taking this apart, I took I took it apart last night and took the drawers out 
And then today I'm like, I don't have a before shot. So I put the drawers back in, took my before shot, and then started taking the hardware off. Originally, I was thinking about replacing the hardware, but I'm not gonna do that, um, I don't think. You guys, tell me what you think below in the comments if you think I should replace the hardware or not. Um, I don't know how close you can get there, but those are the knobs. So they're actually very pretty. I can clean them up. And then these are the drawer pulls. And I don't know if you can see those, but they're actually very pretty and they have all of them, which is unusual. Sometimes when you get a piece, sometimes they already have an oddball going on. Um, so I think I'm going to clean them up. I'm gonna crock pot them. And if you don't know what that means, you can <laughs> hit me up below and I will tell you um, what I put in my crock pot, but I cook my, I cook my stuff. So as I was taking this off, something that you guys might run across if you're just new to redoing furniture or if it's a one-time thing, sometimes you come across things like this. And on the back, not only does it have a screw, but it also has a nail. And you wanna be very careful, if you're planning on replacing these, um, in taking those off of the piece because you don't wanna bend that. It's just a little like finishing nail or brad, so you don't want to bend those because they're not gonna go back in the way that you wish. So the best thing that you can do is, um, I wanted to show you on this one, is first take out, first go in and take out your screw. Now watch this be the one that I can't get out or something. <laughs> going live you never know what might happen all right so you take the screw out and then I didn't know that they had brads or little finishing nails on and I went to pull this out and I'm like oh buggers what's going on okay so the best thing to do is grab like a putty knife something that has a very thin um, I have like a 14 in one tool or like a putty knife or anything just that you can slide behind it you don't want anything real thick because it's gonna bend the screw. So what I do is just pull it out a little bit and slide this in the best that I can right behind it. And if I can, I try to get on top and with as much little pressure as you can put on it, just pop it out in there. That nail has not been bent. It's straight and I can reuse it. Now, if you come back over here, it looks like they must have lost one before because this is not the right nail. So I either will reuse this just because it's what came in it or I might try to find a little one like the other ones, but I'm just happy that they didn't throw, <laughs> throw that piece away. So I think I'm going to be keeping, like I said, I think I'm gonna be keeping um, the hardware. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and I might paint it depending on what color I go with. And so here's where I need your help, you guys. I, I love all the colors of the Real Milk paint. So I picked six. I know that's a lot to choose from, but I need your help in picking because I, I was trying to get it down to about three colors to choose from and I can't make up my mind. So please, please, please help me out and put down the color that you think and here's my options. I have now these are the real colors. So I have stoneware, which is this. So that's stoneware, and that's a gray gray. It's like, it's a light gray. And then next I have river stone, which is this one. And I, I refer to this as almost like a gray beige. It has a little bit of a tan beige-ness to it. My next color is so, um, sage gray, which is, over here now you can't always go off the colors on here because they're printed that's why I like to use these but this sage gray has more of a green tone to it okay so those are the three light colors that I need you to choose from and then the dark colors I have black iron which is this gallon here but this is the black iron and then I have deep sapphire which is here and then I have Peacock, which is this one. Um, the deep, deep sapphire is just that. It's like a deep sapphire blue. Um, it reminds me of being at sea, deep blue. The peacock is sort of in between your blue and your green, um, almost like a jadey color. So those are my three darker ones, okay? So <laughs> that's where you guys come in. Um, I'm going to finish, since I've already described to you how to clean this piece, I'm going to go around all the sides, on the doors and everything, and, and clean, them, clean them up. 
um, and let it dry and we'll be starting to paint tomorrow. I need you guys tonight to help me pick, pick one of these shades. So Peacock, Deep Sapphire, Black Iron, Stoneware, Riverstone, or Sage Gray. Okay, so let me go over them again because I really need your help. I'm, I'm really struggling. I have a green piece, um, a server now that's in the shop. I have a sort of a bluish, it's actually a fusion mineral paint color um, that's sort of like a blue green. So that's why I was gonna go towards one of the lighter ones. So again, there's. let me go over them one more time with you so you guys can tell me. And you know what, you know what I'll do? You guys help me and then everybody that picked the color, the most color wins, okay? But then I'll put all your names in a hat and send you a sample of that color. How's that sound, you guys? I think it sounds great. So, Stoneware, Riverstone, Sage Gray. Okay, then to my dark colors, Black Iron, Deep Sapphire, or Peacock. All right, you guys, let me know what color. Um, I'll look at this one, them tonight and I'm gonna pick whatever one is suggested the most um, and then I'll put those names into a hat and or into a paint bucket, that's what we normally do is put them into a paint bucket and I'll draw and I'll send you a sample of that color that's chosen to do. And um, that's it, that's all I have for you today. Um, I will schedule a live tomorrow on painting and mixing up the paint and everything like that. So until tomorrow, thanks so much for joining me and have a wonderful, try to stay cool kind of day. Thanks.